Well, we all think of strategies. What can we do? What can be done? How can we make our city look better? What can we focus on? And, uh, and our next guest is going to bring us some of those ideas. He's been in the urban planning business for uh, most of his professional career, from what I can gather from the bio. And I've had the uh, good fortune of meeting him a couple of years ago uh, at city council. And he, he really does know what he's talking about. He's been, been the head of urbanics consultants for the last 12 years. Would you please welcome a, uh, a welcome guest to a community, our community, and, and one of our keynote speakers for today. Please welcome Phil Bonham. I think we've gotten started already. And I th just look at the crowd out here. When Kirk Gable asked me to speak, I said, of course I would. Uh, this is a wonderful place to be. As a guest, I can tell you, as a capital of Northern British Columbia, it's time that we got its downtown together and really show that we can create something very special here in British, here in British Columbia. I must tell you that I have had the privilege of being the chairman of the International Downtown Association, which is an organization that is committed to creating vibrant, even for dogs, uh, vibrant socially, environmentally, functionally, economically vibrant downtowns. And we have succeeded to a great extent throughout North America and especially in Canada. Canada has shown the way to not only North Americans, but to many, many cities around the world as to how we can bring various resources together to make downtown truly a vibrant place for the community as a whole. Here in Prince George, where we've been examining this city off and on for some 35 years, it has been the suburbs that has received a great deal of attention, especially from private capital. It's now time for downtown Prince George. Some of you may disagree with this philosophical perspective, but more often than not, you can judge the value of a city by the way in which its downtown performs. And we need to create a downtown in Prince George that manifests the true values of Prince George. There are many challenges that have confronted Prince George in terms of its downtown area. I must tell you that I was instrumental in helping to form the Business Improvement Association organization in British Columbia. And I know that it has been a struggle for your local BIA to do that which it knows can be done and wishes to do to make downtown Prince George a very vibrant location. Look at the uh, flower baskets, look at the lamp standards, uh, look at some of the landscaping. None of this could have been done without the valiant and dedicated work of your BIA. But they need support of the community as a whole. And they need support, first of all, by a committed mayor and council of this community. <laughs> Canadians can be very proud of the fact that we are a compassionate society. And, and we must continue to give strong evidence of that compassion, whether it be for those who are below the poverty line, those who are afflicted with mental uh, challenges, those that are uh, homeless, uh, those who are addicted. We must continue to provide care to those who, in particular, cannot look after themselves. However, it is important, however, that we take care that we do not necessarily concentrate all of our welfare agencies in one location. They have to be put throughout the entire community. So part of the challenge of making downtown Prince George a vibrant location for everyone is to try and make sure that we create an environment that is conducive to everyone's participation. Reference has been made already to the question of security, and that is in, indeed an important 
a prerequisite for attracting at least private capital to uh, the downtown of Prince George. I am convinced that your cup is more than half full. I'm aware of the fact that there are significant economic challenges that this community has faced, particularly with the forestry and pulp and paper industry. However, many of you are going to be surprised to find how much untapped talent there is in Prince George, particularly in the arts and cultural realm. And arts and cultural realm is an industry. It's an industry that has to be nurtured. It's an industry that can create jobs. It's an industry that can help create vib vibrancy in your, in your downtown community. Downtown Prince George, first of all, unlike many downtowns, is central to your city. Secondly, it has great ease of accessibility. And thirdly, it already has some very excellent prerequisites to making downtown a truly interesting community. Your civic plaza, the beginning of your arts and cultural precinct, uh, the concentration of hotel facilities, you have a lot to build on, and I'm, I'm, and I'm quite convinced that if we can start looking at some of the strategies that were spelled out some seven or eight years ago in our downtown revitalization plan, that downtown will indeed attract private interests. This starts, first of all, by reinvigorating your, your downtown development corporation. That is a vital first step. Secondly, we must recognize that our, there are very important initiatives that council in particular can initiate that will help create a climate in which private investments will take place here in downtown Prince George. We have tax exemption legislation uh, and the Downtown Development Corporation can identify sites, assemble sites, and place them uh, with proper entitlements of densification and land use out to the private sector on a public-private partnership basis with discounted va uh, land values, but with provisions for recapture of those land values downstream once those particular investments catch fire. Uh, I urged those of you who can do so to attend our Q&A a session this afternoon where I would be pleased to give you some further insight into some of the very special ways in which we can attract private interests. Private interests that can help create homes for the homeless, affordable housing for the community as a whole, where we can perhaps create a, a very vibrant public market uh, as a social gathering place here in downtown Prince George. There are vast opportunities that we must tap into. I'm pleased to see that your university has already established, established its M MBA program in downtown Prince George. If and when they have a legal faculty, a lawyer, a lawyer faculty, I hope that that faculty can also be downtown. And I urge the university to look at its future campus of arts and cultural faculties to be also part of the downtown. What we are really here about is to create what we call placemaking. Uh, a day in and out where we have crowds like this coming downtown to visit the cinema, to visit the public market, to visit the new specialty shops, to visit even some large uh, new format stores that can be accommodated in downtown Prince George, and to visit p new places of employment, and first and foremost to uh, visit relatives and friends who are actually living in the future beautiful downtown of Prince George. Thank you, thank you very much.